Wednesday night baseball coming your way from Progressive Field in Cleveland. This evening, we've got a matchup from the AL Central Division between the Detroit Tigers and the Cleveland Indians. It's Indians baseball, and it comes your way next. Sean Reed Foley is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Cleveland. Dan Plezak, what do you got? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down. Stepping in, Theo Jamison. He comes in that today leading the American League the right in field. batting for the season. Theo. What a powerhouse season Jamison. in the top ten in home runs and runs batted in. He's also one of the most feared hitters in all of baseball. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of that ball. And gone. An absolute bomb. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys you're going to get exactly what he got a really bad result. To the plate now is the designated the hitter Fran Moraes. He sat to the lead off the hitter. home half of the second. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it, Jamison makes the play one away. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Detroit Tigers. And, guys, the thing I want you to take a look at today is in today's game, the new age, everyone wants to move around. This manager does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them in this one. So striding forward now, Theo Jamison. He went deep in his first half bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Here comes the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground toward hard second. Hard to his left, Silva. And there's out number two. Into the box, Carlos Silva. He's three for seven in the series coming in. Lots of baseball Carlos. left in this one as we're still Silva. early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Theo Jamison will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. First delivery to him on the way. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Sanchez is under it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Time now for the Indians' road to the show report as we get a look at two guys making some noise in the upper minors. Stepping step back. Almost, Matty. Davis almost step. went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. High fly ball out to deep right field. Gone! It's a grand slam! So one swing and he unloads the bases on that one his second of the game as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. 
Well, that was this lineup's third homer of the game. D. Rowe, some days the fellows walk in with their hitting shoes on, and this looks like one of those games. Yeah, but there's a second. Now with the plate, Oscar Sanchez. Leading off. It Boy, doesn't look very game. promising so far Those on this one as we move into Oscar. the later innings. Down by Sanchez. a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Now here's one hit in the air. On paper, this had the makings of a real hard-fought game, but... Uh, Paper and reality, those are two different things. They pulled away and never looked back. How about to a tune of a nine-run victory? A nine-nothing shutout final in this ball game. Detroit jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Number 50 earns win number seven on the season, allowing only a single hit across eight full innings. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. We're just a few blocks south of Lake Erie at Progressive Field in downtown Cleveland. Today, a showdown out of the American League Central between the Detroit Tigers and the Cleveland Indians. Cleveland find themselves on a five-game skid. They'll try to get back on track next. Venezuela gets the starting nod in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can... Coming to the plate now, Theo Jamison. He'll get to take the his right first fielder. cuts here. Theo Jamison. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hit hard on the ground to first. I'll beat it out, beat it out. Fields it cleanly, and he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. With that, let's get you a look at the starting nine for the Tigers. Mark, how do they go about breaking out the brooms on the road? Matty, this lineup is built on one thing, and that's moving the ball over the fence. This is a station-to-station -station team. Not a lot of speed in this lineup, but they don't need much speed when they're moving traffic to both so one man gone for Cleveland here in the third. And up next will be the left-handed power bat of Greg Red. Bird. Bird. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Bird swings, and this one is crushed out to right field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Solo shot that time for Greg Bird, number 11 for him on the season. And with it, the Indians have leveled the score at one apiece. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Now number batting. two. 0 for number 1 for two. him here in this one. Now the 0-1. Heading out towards shallow right. Jamison is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. So one run on one hit, which was the home run. No errors and no one left. Three innings complete. All tied at 1-1. One and one. Now at the plate, Theo Jamison. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim Theo last time. Jamison. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that is off the wall in right field. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. And you see on the graphic right there that his hitting streak will indeed live on as he just continues to hit the ball well. Yeah, he certainly has. He's seeing the ball so big, Matty. You see the confidence oozing off him in the box. He hasn't fished at anything in the last month or so. So I don't expect this to go away now anytime that, soon. The designated hitter. Next Ricky. will be the cleanup hitter, Ricky Rodriguez. Rodriguez, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 3 1. 
And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. As a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is worse than having to battle not only the hitter, but the umpire as well. He didn't get some of the calls there, but there's nothing he can do about that now. Just got to go right after the next guy. Ready for now another back. chance. Left James field. Wyatt. Hey. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Wyatt. Spin and a throw back to second, and he just manages to get his hand in. The 0 1 on its way. Ground ball the sent back the up ball. the middle, the right to him. The tag gets one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One hit, one left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. All tied at one and one. Digging in, Theo Jamison. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Jamison. Here's the first pitch to him. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Make one going back. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Takes just four pitches to retire the Tigers. Still tied one apiece. So here's Daniel Ponka now. A pop out and a ground out for him to this point. Daniel. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it. Jamison. And that's the second out of the inning. At the plate, Theo Jamison, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. <laughs> Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. On the bag, now, on the bag, right here, on the bag. Right is, is he going to get out of this? Over the first, he does get out of it, and the inning is over. So the Tigers leave them loaded. Our score remains two to one. Well, there's no doubt they've looked free and net the last five games, but they got the monkey off their back here with the win and are hoping to build on that now. Pitching and defense game two to one the final score this afternoon. The Cleveland Indians wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Henry Miranda wins his third of the season. Chris Costa pitched well allowing only two earned but ends up taking the loss. Adam Simber closes the door for the save his 16th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez and you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the show Friday night baseball on the show and we come your way from the Motor City of Detroit Michigan tonight the first of this three game weekend series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Detroit Tigers it's Tigers baseball and it starts right now. Victor Alcantara gets the starting nod for the Tigers in this one. Dan Plezak what do you got. Hey Matt this guy's been throwing the ball really well he picked up his 10th win of the year in his last one and he'd like nothing more than to make it two good ones in a row and pick up his win. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. That's he was it. among the many who failed to record a base hit in the loss yesterday. Crawford. The one two. Pulled toward right center field. Jamison shading to his right and that retires the side. So two runs on three hits including the home run. No errors and no one left on base. 
On now to the bottom of inning number one. The Jays are out in front, two to nothing. Striding into the box, Theo Jamison. Third. No one the aboard right for him, and two gone Theo. here in the first. Jamison. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hard hit ball to short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Tigers. They're still down. It's 2 0. Now to the plate, Billy McKinney, and he'll start out there half of the third, the top of the order to follow. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. The one-two. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Jamison looking up. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number nine on the year. And the Jays have moved out in front three to nothing. Well, he won his last start, but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here. So he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W in this one. Now in the box, Reese McGuire. Eighth batter of the yeah. inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Smith on second, Guriel on at first with two down. Heading out towards shallow right, Jamison has a read on it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Toronto leads this one four to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Theo Jamison. He got on top of one and was a ground down right victim field. last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker Jamison. in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same. Oh, dig, dig, he has dig, some dig, trouble dig, dig. with it. And a great job yeah. to stick with it here. Next to bat for Toronto, Dominic Smith. He singled his last time up. Dominic. A pause and the 0-2. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Number 39 ranges back and he has it. Striding in, Theo Jamison. The right fielder, number 15. Theo Jamison. From the stretch, here's the pitch. On, Hit in the scoring, air out scoring, to straight away left. McKinney will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Tigers get one here on two hits in the inning. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Blue Jays on top, four to one. So a pivotal moment here right and digging here. in Number now, 15. Theo Jamison, Theo. but a single here could reduce Jameson. the deficit to only one. <laughs> From the stretch, here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side, and that's going to fall for a base hit. And the run is in the score from second as they cut it to one at 4-3 now. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left. Eighth inning coming up. The Jays are out in front, 4-3. to three. Standing in, Theo the right Jamison. He's one for four for the game. Theo Jamison. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This is skied into short left center. McKinney's there for it. 
And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Well, that's just a great job of battling on the road. They fought all the way to the end, took the lead in the top of the ninth, and secured the W in the bottom half. That's a great team win. This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4 the final tally. The Toronto Blue Jays came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Derek Law claims the win out of the pen his first. Ken Giles earns the save out of the bullpen his 28th on the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Live and on the air from the home of the Tigers, Comerica Park here in Detroit, Michigan. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Detroit Tigers. Tigers baseball comes your way next. Pedro Campos will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we're going to get a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well... Two on here with one man that's out. Good. And that brings up the, the exciting side. Lourdes Gurriel Lourdes. Jr. Gurriel. The Shields over at second. Miranda is over at first with one away. Good opposite field power here, taken high and deep to right. A leap, but he can't rein it in. It's off the wall. Boy, d -roll, that looked like extra bases right off the bat. This thing caroms off the wall. Outfielder does a great job of getting it in quickly and probably does a good job holding him to a single. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not standing on second base there, but you run the replay back. He was busting it out of the box. It's just a nice job by the defense to hold him to a single. And next it'll be the Tigers' cool. cleanup hitter, Theo right Jamison, here. as he'll look Theo. to bring home that tying run from Jameson. second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch of the at bat. Popped him come up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. White has got it, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll move on to the second inning here at Comerica Park. It's the Blue Jays one, and the Tigers nothing. Set to get his day started, Oliver Bearden, and it's been a real struggle for him with the Oliver. bat so far this year, looking Bearden. to get things turned around in a hurry. Now the 2-1. On the extent and deep. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number two for him on the year as the Blue Jays take a two to nothing advantage. Wow, not every call is going to go your way. And there are some pitchers that pitchers think are pitchers' pitches, and you don't get that, and it puts you in a bad spot. And you could tell that it affected him. He was digging in. Theo Jameson. The right number 15. Theo. Jameson. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lined into right, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And as you see right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. Just classic confidence at the box right now. You put your head on the pillow at night, you know you're on time. You get up, get dressed, drive to the ballpark, you expect to catch a couple barrels. Number 14. So first and second with one man gone, and that means Kristen Stewart will dig in at the plate. Here now the 2-2, but gloved by the third baseman for the out.
Now batting number 39. Two so men on, two away here in the fourth. Here's the 0 and 2. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. On to the top of inning number five we go. Toronto leads this one two to nothing. Into the box now. The Theo right Jameson. He singled his last time Theo. up. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's off Jameson. right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Drilled to first. Come on, oh, and it eats on, him up a on, bit. Come on. And a great oh. job. The third out. One left for Detroit. Still down three nothing. In now, Theo Jamison. Now he got on top of one and was a ground field. out victim last Theo time. Jamison. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit in the air out to center field. Gritchick waits on it. Two gone. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. Three-nothing the final score in this one today. Toronto jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Number 47 earns his eighth victory of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Tuesday night baseball now from Comerica Park in downtown Detroit, Michigan. Tonight, the first of two in this interleague matchup between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Detroit Tigers. Number five, the National League's leading hitter to this point takes his swings. Next. Number 50 gets the ball for the Tigers in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, it's not easy to bunch anything together against this guy. In his last three starts, he has a whip of under 1.10. So we may see some hit and run. We may see some bunting. And we may see some. Now to the plate, Theo Jamison. First shot for Got him it. here cool. as he comes in currently the leading field. the junior circuit Theo. in hitting. This season really Jamison. shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Here's the first pitch to him. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Taylor is there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We'll move on to the second inning here at Comerica Park. It's the Phillies one, and the Tigers nothing. Now at the plate, Theo the right Jamison. Field. He 15. flew out in his last at bat. Theo. Almost, Matty. Almost Jamison. went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. On the bag, on the bag, on the bag. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. And as you see right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. You know what, Matty? I don't see it ending anytime soon. I and mean, we got to take a look at the upcoming matchups, but this guy is absolutely locked in the plate, and I don't think anybody gets him to lose his toehold right now. Now batting, the designated hitter. Ready for another Ricky. chance? Ricky Rodriguez. Rodriguez. And they're runners at the corners now. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Pulls this one into the air, out into right field. Harper's got it. Here comes the runner from third. And 
they'll get a step closer. It's a sack fly to make it a three to two game now. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that and means Kristen Stewart will dig in at the plate. Now the 1 0. Pitch inside the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. Back for more from Detroit after this. So it's first and second with two men gone. And that'll bring up big time RBI man Marcelo Zuna. Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. And this will get all the way to the wall now. He pulls into third safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Definitely aggressive approach here down 0-2 in the count. Instead of shortening his swing and protecting the plate, he takes a big rip and is able to drive it deep for a couple of bases and an RBI. Settling in now, Reese Hoskins. The first baseman, Reese Harper at second and Duhar at first one gone. Hit the other way out toward right field. Jamison is there. He hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away. Standing in Theo Jamison. He's one for two in the ball game. Theo Jamison. First delivery to him on the way. This is on the ground oh, over to first. Up, it up, it up. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the. Now at the plate, Miguel Andujar. Now Two back. hits in four attempts to this point. Miguel. Eight runs, 11 and hits, Duhar. and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Fly ball, not particularly deep. Jamison here, here, here. sprinting after it. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Nick Williams. He was a ground out victim last time up. Three runs already home here. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he's now secured his fourth knock of the day. Even for him, this has been a great performance at the plate. Warning, warning. Somebody wants a batting title. People better wake up. Guys around him, they're going to check the box score and start to panic a little bit. A four-knock game is... Next up for Detroit, Theo Jamison. Right he got Number on top 15. of one and was a ground-out victim Theo. last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. Dig, Back up dig, the middle. Dig, He's dig. Got it. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. This one pretty well in the bag. Ninth inning coming up. Phillies on top, 11 to 2. On paper, this had the makings of a real hard-fought game, but uh, paper and reality, those are two different things. They pulled away and never looked back. How about to a tune of a nine-run victory? 12-3 to three is the way this one ends. Philadelphia put on a show with the bats, collecting 17 hits in the game. Garrett Cole gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year. Number 50 struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.